right now we are going to go and set to get all this into the accounting system right so how do we do that then thing go to chart of accounts i told you involve three things okay then again it's from version 2013 that have some summary of what you're about to do here yeah. anything less than 2013 you don't have this guy and what is this guy doing here just want to explain that okay this account id i don't understand what it means that is a general ledger number so that's your hmm. yeah ledger account <laughs> it's like this okay that was what you mean by account id so you know i explained this guy is here for you now you need a cup id account description all right so you have account id account description that's account name then account type you are not to type the account type so whatever account type that you need they are all here the reason why we need to do that one explicitly the other time is for us to know details of how they belong the categories, each one of those things. But if you don't even know where it belongs, which one will you choose? You understand? That's why we have to do that one like that. So here yeah, now, I can't ID. Yeah. What if there is one that is not here? There's no one that will not be there. I'm telling you. <laughs> I've been working with this since how many years now? <laughs> More than five years. There's no one that is not there. You said the one that he that's not you don't know where it belongs to most. That's you can always call. Then you have stuff like that. Okay? So now the first one we are creating is S okay. X zero zero one. I, I think I have zero in three pieces. Let me have this guy talk about it back. X uh, can be used tab when you're working with them to move them. So the first one that I have there is my credit cash, right? So cash. So I don't need to change it. From version 2012, you have save and new. They only have save. So if you need save, you want to go around and see new. But now they have save and new. So by the time I do this now, I will need to save and get ready for the next one. So I'm just saying this for you to know how to work fast, right? You understand? So we have one there now. The next one is GT. Can be current account, can be anything, right? Still cash, right? The next one is UBA. Okay. UBA, maybe corporate. You understand? See cash. What do we have there again? Sales. Sales is reviewed for sales. I think well design. So you relate it to whatever operation you have. So definitely it's not cash. So you can just if you don't know, you can just press I. You come will come. Instead of scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Right? Then L005. Sales. Six fifty. You get it. I just press I. L zero zero zero. Six. What do you have there? Sales. Well, by the time you set up this, you are good to go. But this is the foundation. If you don't have this, this is posting that you are getting ready. This is guys will be calling you. Come, I want to post it to you. I want to post it to you. Come. So we need to get this done first. Then zero zero seven. What do you have there? Products. 
Certo? Well, design. So what do you have there? First of all, C. Now just press C. Uh, first of all, C. Pop down. The second one, there. right? You can also scroll. You didn't get it. But well, it's better you learn how to walk fast. Exactly. It's very, very important. Okay. Product. Are we sure? Sage. PPT. Cost. Sage. Nine. What's the next one? Well, posting. Posting. The next one. Okay. Customer account. Otherwise knows as. Otherwise knows as. That's your desktop. Okay. Eleven, right? Yes. 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 Otherwise knows as. Creditors. Okay. Account payable. Okay. Let me scroll this guy up so that we can see. Okay, you guys are seeing it. So we are moving fast. Good. S zero zero one two six stars. What do you call it? So order. I see. L zero zero one three, right? Store and that is inventory, right? L zero zero zero. Okay. Set. Bravo. L zero zero fifteen. Transport. As it is with sixteen. Water is. Water is. You can also have water. Maybe you, you have to water the sensor. You know, if you see way. So if you know you'll be buying that maybe two to three, three days, depending on how people are in water. So it's also not that expensive. This one is water corporation, right? Yes. Yes. So, um, oil and power. I can't think of changing that name. Okay. I'm not trying to think of that. X, what do you have now? I guess it should be 18, right? Yes. Normal. X00 19. What do you have there? Friends. I'm working with my tab, right? Tab key, my keyboard. Okay, the next one, S what? 20. Repayment. What do you have there? Okay. The next one. 
newspaper publicity mm -hmm. are we? 22 or 21? Tablet twenty one. Publicity. So anytime, in fact, one good thing about this is that you can create charts even at the point of transaction without coming here. Yes, I added. That's another good thing. At the point of transaction, you don't need to close what you are doing. You just see new. Create it and it's automatic. Yes. So we'll see some stuff like that. Okay. X0023, right? Dialog phone. X0024. Internet. And next subscription, the next one S0000 35 GSTV, right? In school, you just put this in subscription, and there's so many things you can subscribe to. Do you understand? Which doesn't make it explicit. I'm not trying to go against school. I'm going to try to save you a lot of stress in practice. Okay? I think you are not now, right? What is your? Right? What is your? Can you see it? And 0, 0, 0. 20 what? 26. 26. 26. Generator. Self. 28. 28. Right? L00. 28. What do we have there? Computer. Pass. Equipment. All right. Session. L zero 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 twenty nine. Accumulator. Depreciation. Okay. Oh, sorry. Accumulated depreciation number one. Right? Yes. X. Yes. For example, if you mistake it, you can change it. I will do something. Maybe as like now, I want to select accumulated depreciation for depreciation, and I select this as so I can come back with it and update. Do you understand? Yes. For example, now, you know the other time, I almost click this asset. Right? So, I didn't mean I have saved. So, I can click it again. I didn't mean you said that I've got some transaction that has been posted. The only thing is that if the transaction has been posted, immediately I change it. It changes it to where it's supposed to be. It will move it from that place. You know, I have the education. It will move it. In fact, there's one that is even missing here. One account that is missing currently now, but I will keep it in one we need it. Because we have fixed assets, we have accrued division, but there's one who will help, who will help me. There's one missing that's still in the same group of that 
account. I know this is dirty, right? Right? There's one that is missing now. I'm waiting for you guys. I just finished generator now, right? Let me see. No, I've no, got the generator. Furniture are beating. Then, generator now. That's it. That's one. Okay? Yes. Okay, so it's nine. That's it. Accumulator. Stop. D. What's that? Generator. You guys should think about what I'm talking about. Alright, the next one. 31 now, right? Akum, Div, Makuta, Ikutele. You guys remind me. I want to actually add it here now. See, uh -huh. when you want to calculate depreciation, there are some accounts that are involved. When you are calculating depreciation, right? What are the accounts that are involved? Mm -hmm. We only have fixed assets, we have depreciation, but there's also need for depreciation expenses. Which is not just yes. Is depreciation expenses and accumulation depreciation that we be posting on a monthly basis. You know, we're also spending on those resources as well. So that that account leg is missing. Right? So I'm I'm intended that we post it at that point that we need it before. Right? But right now, let's just add it. Okay? That should be 32 now. No, I want to add that depreciation expenses first. Okay? Depreciation. This will be on expenses of your this is uh, P and L. Did you remember this on your P and L? Depreciation expenses. Right? This is your P and L. So, there's a way we'll be operating this thing sometimes that stuff that you do is you know, like so this is what this guy is trying to explain that I can't explain to understand. Do you understand? So retain any then I can't type this what? You quickly retain any. So I'm done. So let's quickly see the brief of what we've done now. Okay? We set all the account of account, which simply means some reports are ready. This simply means the chart, all the account of account are going are ready on our reports. Then if you come to this maintainer chart of account and you click here now, can you see all of them comes up? So for example, now if I do type S0012. That guy would massively come up. So, as time goes on, as you are using it, you begin to get familiar with those numbers. Like, you want to call it up, you just start the number and come up. Right? That's one. Then, report so far. If you go to the report, general ledger, you have what we call chart of accounts. All the charts are ready. Okay? We created it ourselves, not sample company. If this is true sample company, this is where we see all these guys. It's ready. So immediately, by the time we fix uh, the value, open balance, that's what we call it. Do you understand? Remember open balance now? Open balances. It's not a company that some companies say we don't have. 
but we'll, we'll do that, right? The time we have opening balances, you see your travel balance. It's opening balance. Can you see that it's playing now because there's no value yet attached to all the sort of chart of account? So thank you for listening. That's very simple on how to register and set up your chart of accounts. So in the next class, we are going to check opening balances for each of those accounts, for those that are, okay?